Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so tonight we're going to tie a salmon fly. Uh, it's a Sunray variant and it's called the Vimu. It's Simple enough looking fly, but it's quite striking in its colours, uh, black and chartreuse uh, colour scheme. So, um, the original fly tied with monkey is my understanding of it. Now, I don't tie with monkey, I'm not going to tie with monkey. Um, so, I'm going to do a variation on the wing. Uh, so, for this fly, we're going to use plain 3.2 clear outer tubing. What I'm going to do is just to flare the end of it. Now I have a piece here that's just about it's about 30 mil long. So I'm just flaring the end and then I'll blow on it to cool it down. I'm going to put that into my tube fly holder here. Now I'm using uh, this bar and I'm tightening down on the bar to compress the tube in here. Now you could use a needle. But what I've done with this bar, as you can see, I have marks on it here. And that mark is at 60mm, 70mm, 80mm, 90mm, and the back end of the bar is 100mm. So I can uh, get the overall fly length then if I put the bar to the front of my uh, of my tube and to the eye. So, um, I'm going to use two different threads for this fly. So the first one is going to be this Vivas 12 white. And the reason for that is I'm using uh, the body of this one is going to be this uh, Vivas uh, mini flat braid, and I want I don't want black thread to show from underneath it. I want it to be nice and bright. Uh, and then to finish the fly off, then we're going to be using this stuff, which is the Vivas 12O uh, in black. So tube on. I'm going to start off with my white tie-in thread. Just get it started. And then we're going to tie in a length of our mini flat braid. So I'm going to start at the front here on the top of the shank and I'm just going to hold it back. Take my tying thread back to the point where I want to leave it for the uh, hook holder, whatever way you want to call it. And then I'll take the thread back up the body to the front. And then what I can do is just a few whip finishes or half hitches, whatever you want. And that leaves our braid attached and then we're not going to, as I said, show uh, as the underbody. So I'll now attach my black tying thread. Essentially all that you're going to do here, the only the length of it is going to be a head's length. So for a bit of added security what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good clear varnish. This one's uh, Sally Hansen hard as nails and just put a good coat of that onto Our underbody, and then I'm going to wrap my braid into that. Now the original flies that I've seen tied as well used uh, like a fluorescent green tying thread. It takes a lot of time to coat a tube shank with that. Then they would have glued it, but this mini flat braid here, flat braid, gives you a really nice cover. New scissors tonight as well. These arrow scissors, half gold, three and a half. Trim 
spray it underneath. Give that a bit of a wipe to make sure there's no varnish sticking through. So as I said, the wing on this is supposed to be monkey, but I'm not going to use monkey. Um, so either you could use bucktail as your support, so black bucktail, and then use like a a supreme sort of fox or something like that or goat depends on the length of the fly that you want to go out to so if you're going to tie this out to maybe a hundred mil or so then you're probably going to have to go with uh, with goat uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an underwing of black runner and the reason I've chosen that is that the nature of, of runner the uh, the guard hairs on it tend to be sparse and I think it'll just give it a nicer profile to me. It also is slightly stiff so it's kind of supportive in a way too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a tiny little blab of super glue on top of the shank there where the wing is going to be tied in. So whereas sometimes you're trying to achieve a, a teardrop kind of a shape or a wider shape with this fly you're trying to achieve everything on top of the shank. So I'm just going to set that down into that little bleb and bind down onto it. That creates our underwing. You can see it has this sort of dense short fur and then a few sort of uh, longer yard hairs. Top of that then I'm going to top this off with uh, a good quality fox. Black Fox. Because I'm trying to fly it's sort of 70, 70 or 80 mil kind of. Um, I'm going to take, pull a lot of the under fur out of that. Less likely of a tangle. I'm going to sit up on top for me. Take that out to uh, whatever length we choose. I said here is about 70 mil or so. And then depending on how dense again, if you want the wing to be a bit more sparse, then pull a bit more out of it. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to transfer hands, cut that off square. A little dab of glue or varnish on direct on top again. And then I'm going to hold this on top tie it down. Bind into it before it dries. That means that we can keep the head shape that we want. And that is our place. So it's like a two tapered wing. A lot of them quite uh, quite a dense sort of short underwing with uh, within that longer material to give you the length. So fly is finished with a couple of Strands of flash usually, so pearl, or in this case, I'm going to actually use to fit with the color scheme. I'm going to use some of this uh, chartreuse kind of mirage type material, and I'm going to lay that up on top. I'm not going to go full length of the wing, tie over that strand, fold it back, tie over that, and cut that off. So I'll have two strands on top. Slightly unusual. Uh, generally when I'm having these sort of wings I would probably sandwich that somewhere in the, in the middle. Um, but then it would have to be much shorter. And then we'll finish the fly with uh, jungle cock eyes. So I'm going to take two small eyes. It's up to yourself whether you want the eyes to be the sort of length of the body or whether you prefer them quite short at the front. I think the, the short eye sort of is maybe more striking on this. So I'm taking two feathers and I'm just going to strip them back till they're the same length. And then I'll set that up on the side of the wing. Couple of turns will hold it in place. Take the other one, set it on as well, just measure them. I'm turning the fly sort of over on the side so I can see that they're the same length. And then I'm creating 
creating the head. So the head is going to be black. Um, so hence I want to not have any gaps if I can help it. So I just want to trim off. Anything that's sticking out there. You do it by a whip finish, whatever you, whatever you want. Trim that off. And then varnish it. So it, it will take uh, more than one coat of varnish to finish this, but then I'm going to go with uh, the same varnish we use for the body, so the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And then when that dries off, I'll give it another coat. But uh, that's my variant of the, the Vimu. So a clear water uh, salmon fly. And uh, can be fished similar to sun rays and quite fast. Uh, but I hope you'll agree, a quite striking pattern and certainly uh, has accounted for a lot of fish in its lifetime.